Hi guys, what's up? Uh, Enrique, PRG Real Estate, brokered by EXP. I'm here with my business partner, AJ Del Rosario, bro. What's Welcome. On? What's going on? So I wanted to bring you on here just for you know, a quick little interview for our agent success spotlight because man, you've been you've been having some success, man. And I feel <laughs> we just gotta share that with the world and let everyone know, you know, what you're doing. And I think there's a lot of value in in what is helping you become successful. So um, just a little background on AJ. He's joined our team probably about six months ago or so. About six months, yeah. And uh, you were introduced to us by Mitch Del Rosario, also his cousin, another <laughs> rock star agent, one of my partners. Um, so first, man, just you know, tell us a little about you. Where'd you grow up at? Where are you from? And then what got you into real estate? Um, born and raised in the Bay Area. Um, I grew up in Newark. I still currently live in Newark. Moved a little bit around in the East Bay, um, but found myself back to where I started. Um, now the fun part is why I really got into East or why I really got into real estate. Yeah. It initially started off, I would say working like more corporate jobs and stuff like that, or, or working in the business where you had managers and I wanted something that I could like do for myself. Like you are your own business at the end of the day, right? Like mm -hmm. if you want to produce the only person that at the end, if you start producing volume or you start working hard, you're the only reason it's going to work, right? Yeah. There's, you know, sometimes you work a salary job. You can sit there and just kind of do nothing for you know eight hours and still get paid. But this job, it, it really forces you to um, be who you are, do what you do if you want the outcome that you really you know desire. So jumping into it, the, the one of the reasons why I did really get into real estate is my cousin Mitch. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys know Mitch. Uh, he's the king of Instagram stories. And Mitch, by the way, was was on my agent success spotlight also. So <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's no wonder, right? You're following. Yeah. So, so with his stories, um, I know I'd be at my regular nine to five job and I would always go on Instagram and I was like, damn, this dude loves what he does. Yeah. You know, and it would be like a story of like a hundred different, you know, sections. And it's from handing off the keys to just ringing the bell that we have here in the office. And I was like the excitement, um, the team. And then one day I reached out to him and I was just like, hey, bro, can we go for some drinks? And he was like, all right, me and Mitch, you know, we're cousins and stuff like that, but I know he's busy. I'm busy. I've never just reached out and just been like, hey, you want to go grab some drinks? Yeah. So we went out, grabbed some drinks, and he was like, what's up, bro? I was like, dude, I want to join real estate. And he was like, why? I was like, you love what you do, bro. Yeah, yeah. And, and then um, one thing that he wanted to add while we were, you know, we were, we were having some drinks, and he was like, my team is different than probably any other office that you're probably <laughs> going to go to. Yeah. Right. And he was like, it's a different atmosphere. And he's like, I think you're going to like the groove here. He's like, go get your license. Um, and I and I basically hit the ground running. I was like, all right. So I you know, hit him up. I was like, what courses did you take? Yeah. You know, I took the exact same course, you know, and took my exam, uh, passed it on the first shot. And here I am. Here we are, man. That's awesome, man. It's so it, it sounds like Mitch's energy and his enthusiasm and you seeing him shine and you seeing how passionate he was about the business yeah. kind of sparked your interest, right? And then from there, it seems like you're 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 carrying on those same footsteps, man, because I can tell you're you're passionate, you know, today where we're at. Yeah. Um, so one thing I noticed about you, like when Mitch said, Hey, you know, I, I got my cousin, man, you know, he's thinking about getting into real estate. Can he come join our sales meeting? And I told Mitch, I'm like, look, bro, I don't care who you bring to the office. As long as you vouch for them, like, you know how our office is, you know how hard we work, you know the schedule, you know the accountability, you know how we push each other, and you know the vibe that, that we have, the culture that we have. I go, so if you think he's, you know, fits that vibe, I mean, Mitch has been with us for several years now, so yeah. he's like, nah, I think he'll be good. And bro, day one, when you came into the office, I already knew, like, I was going to get along with you, right? It's, I think the first week you started with us, I think we remodeled the office and got all new desks. Yeah, And I reached out, who wants to volunteer and help us put desks together? You're the one that raised your hand first, bro. You're like, I'll be there. And you showed up and you put in the work, bro. You yeah. brought your tool belt and everything. And you were putting <laughs> up desks and you were working. And and I was like, man, I just, I, I immediately saw that you were a team player, bro. And that you you had the work ethic. So um, I think to me, that's why you've been successful. Now, let's talk about your success, right? So you've been six months in the business. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about your production so far. Like how many units have you closed? And, and I guess, what have you learned so far? Um, so I'm going to be on my eighth unit close in six months and I have three more closing in May. So around 11, um, you know, and, and it really goes, uh, what really I had to focus on was just all different avenues. It, it's when I jumped into real estate, I knew that, you know, the cold calling, the prospecting was going to be a part of it. But what I did is I went a little extra, right? It's like when I went home, I was like, all right, what's, what's the condo market like? What's the townhouse market like? 
you know, and then going on, you know, following people who do like masterminds and stuff and just really taking in all of real estate, I think has had me progress in my journey. Um, it, it is all about like the education that you have, yeah. um, because at the end of the day, clients have a lot of questions. And if you can be the resource and the advisor, I think granted that that's what had me be able to produce at what I'm producing now. Yeah. And that's so awesome, man. Six months in the business and you already got 11 deals closed and pending. Like yeah. that's unheard of. Um, there's a lot of agents out there who are been in the business full time who are only closing four, five, six, seven deals a year. And you're six months rookie with with 11 deals in the pipeline, bro. Closed and pending, man. That's that's awesome. What do you think? I mean, besides obviously learning, you know, the game and, and working hard, what do you think is helping you become successful right now? Oh, that's a good one. I, I honestly think what's what's helping me become successful is what you guys preach here. It, it's the accountability. Um, accountability at the end of the day is is the number one thing in the systems, right? And the reason I say accountability systems is is you have to do the work because it works, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? Um, and I'm a person that's very very diligent on timing systems and stuff like that. I, I you know coming from a logistics background or or even like uh, manufacturing, yeah, everything was on a timeline. Yep. Um, and you know that's apart from like how I am as a person, but it it, it will kind of, but it is like where I find the foundation. Yeah. Right? And, and it's what you guys taught me here. I was like, hey, even though let's say you're an independent contractor, I think a lot of people think, oh, you're a real estate agent. You can like come to work when you want or you can go out and you can like, ah, oh, I'm going to call these days or I'll, or I'll, you know, you have a realtor job. You don't have to go into the office, um, but you really do have to put in the work. You you know, what you guys do here is we cold call. Yeah. You know, we spend our time. We, we, we help. We hold each other accountable even when realistically we don't have to. Yeah. Right. It's it's. It's going around having a team that's like, hey, you making calls? Yeah. You making calls? You making calls? And, you know, almost having like a competition with like the others, but like, you know, you're competing against yourself, you know? And yeah. I, I think that is the foundation of my success is just the accountability. It's it's having the structure and the systems that you guys had. Yeah. And I see that, man, because you're, I mean, you're the first one in the office. You're the last one to leave a lot of times. I know sometimes you're coming into the office the next day, you're like, man, I was up to 11 last night, yeah. you know, writing an offer or talking to my client, um, you know, so it's that work ethic, you know, it's that structure. And I think obviously we implement certain structures and accountabilities, but you already had that work ethic in you. So it's like when you put those two together, yeah. it's like follow this plan. That's why, at least in my opinion, I see you, you know, you know, rising to the top. Um, the other thing that I want to add, and then here's one of the reasons why I think you're successful and I want you to shed some light on it, is you bring this energy bro to the table um you know you bring this energy like you're juiced you're excited like the other day uh, you know you told a story about how one of your deals fell through yeah right and you got you, you know obviously that no one wants a deal to fall through but you were still like positive about it man and you turned that positivity around and ended up connecting with like a couple other clients and yeah what, what, what happened give me like Quick story. All right, all right, quick that. story. Uh, I had a deal fall through, um, and then right after that, you know, I was I was pretty down in the dumps. I was like, it was like a morning phone call. I had the next showing um, prior to meeting that client that you talked about at eight thirty in the morning. Yeah, I got the call from the fallout at like seven thirty in the morning, <sighs> right? And I was like, man, I can't I can't let this ruin my day. It's not the person that I am, like, yeah. you know. So as soon as I met with that client, I like you know brushed it off my shoulders, and I was just like, all right, you know, it's game time. Yep. You know, so I went out and she, and even just meeting her, she was like, damn, you're the coolest real estate agent I ever met. So this was a different client. You so were this, was a, this was a different client. I was going to show homes. Yeah. And, you know, to to make the story short, as soon as I met with her, she automatically gave me a referral to like three or three other friends and was like, I think my friends would love to work with you. And then I, <laughs> I, I reciprocated that energy. I brought it to the office next day and I was like. You know, things fall through or, or, you know, not everything's always going to come to plan, but always bring that vibe, bring that energy because it, your clients know that if you have energy and and you want to make this, the you know, the most exciting time of their life. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, I am a little ball of energy, <laughs> a big ball of energy. I, I, I like that, man. I admire that because I think in this business, you're going to have those ups and downs. You know, it's yeah. part of the business. Deals are going to fall through. Things are going to happen. No real estate transaction is the same. There's always hurdles and bumps. 
but it's how you respond to those that makes the difference. And I yeah. just see you, like that's a perfect example of you just responding to a negative situation, brushing it off, turning it into something positive. And it's almost like you put yourself in alignment for something positive to happen yeah. because you had that, that mindset. Right? Yeah. Like I believe in like karma and law oh, of attraction yeah. and all those things, man. So I don't know if you know you're doing that, but you're doing that, bro. Yeah. Right. And I think I think you know to to piggyback off that, it it really is the genuine intention and in how you feel. Yeah. Right. If you're gonna be the advisor to these clients, they wouldn't want somebody that's like, hey, you had something personal or or whatever down in the dumps, and now you're gonna write an offer on the property that's my dream home. Right. Or if you can come through and be like, hey, I'm excited to write this offer, guys. I think we have a strong chance. I'm doing everything on my end to make this happen. And, you you know, you're keeping them excited for it because, you know, who's to say that let's say the offer doesn't get accepted. Yeah. Right. Or something like that. You can still bring that energy back and get them excited to look at the new house or the next house. Yeah. Right. And, I, and that's probably the most important thing is you have to be. You have to be the ball of energy for your clients if you think they're tiring out or, you know, they may have some down in their life or whatever, you know, re relight that fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see that, bro. I see that. And that energy is contagious, man. When when I hear you speak, you know, in, in our meetings and you're sharing your stories and your experiences, I get excited, bro, just hearing you, you know, and yeah. and I've, I've told you host some of our morning meetings <laughs> and, and like the team's like, man, AJ did a phenomenal job. And I think you just have that. You have that in you, bro. That's it's it's a natural Thing, or it, is it natural or is that something you've had to learn to do? Um, that, I guess maybe that's a question. Um, I want to say it's natural. I think if you talk with any of my friends, any of my family, yeah. it's just I'm a naturally like giving person. Yeah. Right. I, I think uh, all my friends, all my family can say this. It's just like when I come in, I just I, I like to bring joy to the room. I like to bring that energy. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be the person like, what's up, guys? Here yeah. we are at the next family or friend party. <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So when they come in, they're like, AJ's here. I'm like, what's up, guys? Yeah. What does that stem from, bro? What would you think that stems from? Um, I think it just stems from, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just natural. Um, you've always been like that. I've always just been somebody that just wants to have a good time and, you know, obviously be responsible at the same time, but just yeah. bring good energy. You know, if I, I, it's funny cause I had a, 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 my, I had a consultation last night. Right. And right before we ended the consultation, right. She was like, Hey, I just love how much energy you have. I was like, at the end of the, I was like, I told her. I was like, if I can make you smile at the end of this whole consultation that we've been on for like an hour and a half, why shouldn't I? Right. Yeah. And she was like, damn, that's amazing. And at the end of the day, she was like, I'm, I'm really excited to work with you. Yeah. Right. So huge takeaways, man. And, and you're getting me excited just talking to you. And I think that's a huge takeaway for a lot of people is that you have to bring that energy to the table. Right. Like yeah. A lot of a lot of times client like the client is looking to their agent to be their advisor, to be their leader, to lead them in the right direction. Right. So. I don't I think we take for granted a lot of times on how much influence we have on the transaction oh, yeah. and the mood and, you know, because things things don't always go good. Right. So uh, I think that's a huge lesson to be learned. Um, so thanks, bro, for sharing all of this stuff. I'm excited for your success, man. I, I know it's only going to continue to grow. Um, let's 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 end with this, man. What's what's some advice that you can give to some other agents who are in your shoes? They either just got their license or they're about to get their license, or they're in their like first year of business trying yeah. to get up and running, Like, what's a couple pieces of advice that we can leave them with? I think a couple of pieces of, of really, really crucial advice is, is take the time to realize who you are, right? And I, I say that because be genuine, right? Be the specialist at what you do. Don't try to be like somebody else. You know, I don't want to be like an Enrique. I wanna, I'm, I'm the only person that's like myself, right? And the, the clients will know that energy and they'll feel like, all right, this is the person I want to work with. Or, you know, you don't want to show up one day and then one day you're a different person. Right. And another thing is, is, is focus on your craft, build your skills up. And it's it's keep the systems in place, create your foundation and also like hold yourself accountable. And then even after you think you're finished with your day, making your call, sitting in the office, do some research. Right. Learn everything that you can. And it's not just about real estate. You can do you know, anything about investors, renter, just any questions that your clients may have, be that resource. At the end of the day, you're an advisor and they look to you for that. And if you can supply with that information to the best of your abilities, you know, they know that you're a person that they can trust. And to always leave this on the last note, be energetic, be super happy because your clients are going to love it. It's the biggest financial investment of their life. Um, and you want to be the person that when you hand them over the keys, I always tell my clients, when I hand you the keys, this is the best part of this whole process. Woo! Yeah, you got me excited, bro. <laughs> All right. So 
I appreciate you, bro. Thanks for, for jumping on this. I know this was kind of on the fly, but I think you <laughs> we've, we've hit a lot of good points. Um, cheers to your success, bro, and let's keep it rocking. Let's do it, man. Appreciate it.